Dong, Bing, Bong. All right, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa Two. Goodbye, Despair. Is that the correct title? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, a few things have changed since last time. Uh, there was a bit of discussion between Cass and I, and we thought there was a scene that happened bef only before this that I needed to get. Turns out it's after this, and the guide that she was using to try to keep me spoiler-free, but also keep me seeing all the scenes, was really poorly worded, so it's later. So I'm already level 17 at this point, and also have 100 monocoins by running around in circles, taking care of a really, really annoying... Tamagotchi that just keeps taking dumps everywhere. So I got a snake in me by fully evolving it. I've probably put it on the screen right boom right here. Um Yeah. That's that's about it. Let's see what the ding dong bing bong's about. Was that a school bell just now? Huh? The body's been discovered. Boom. Instant, let's go. Hajime, look at the monitor over there. The body was our entire class besides us, Haji and Byakuya. Congratulations! Haji, Nagi. Boom. It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy! The idea that Hinata was the reason that this took so long is really funny to me. I hmm. apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach! <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all! What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is this gonna be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it'd look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. I'd look like a total douche nozzle. Byakuya's gone. Wait till you get to hear Byakuya walk. Oh my god. They did that boy dirty. Uh, right. I think it's this way. Pretty sure it's two bridges over this way. Yes, you are. So I will be running just about everywhere I go as a heads up. Yeah. Just so I get experience and also Tamagotchi points. Also, Gabe, who do you think the first one to not die is going to be? Me. Haji? Oh, rude. That's disrespectful. Yeah, he should be the first one to die. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Look at this wild cast of Kira. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's alright. Most importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before the rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's... I know what the voice is, but for some reason I can't... My body will not remember. My body... My body's telling me yes. <sighs> I don't like your voice when you do that. Let's talk. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention it. I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges at the central island. Hmm, central island, weird. Oh! Oh, those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and the rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we do not get lost. Is this island really so big? That's but what she said. The... But if you look at it in depth, it's just a little island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, maybe not that I've been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um, um, there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we could stay there. Oh, man, that's crazy. It's almost like there were pictures of us on the fucking mailboxes in front of each of the cottages. The restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Plebeians! Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? 
I found something very important on this island. I bet you did. Girls. Very, very cute girls <laughs> all over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. All of you were fools. I can't believe no one has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one has realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What do you say, you fat bastard? Don't go talking all big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. Oh, <laughs> he go a chihuahua. <sighs> the most serious truth. What does he mean? Is it that um? We're all flat 2D. My god. Flat, huh? Yeah. Flat, huh? Cardboard can have curves. <laughs> Cardboard can have curves. Fantastic. Hey, what's the most serious truth? D did you find something out about this island? It's the good word. Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with the weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean. A beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. I mean, that's the correct number of islands, so... It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said the five holy animals symbolized each of the surrounding islands. Eh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be? Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> hmm, never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here now, right? Yeah! Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Right on, this ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys? I like it. I like this island too. <laughs> Can't say the same about the rest of you cretins. Did I hear something? I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem at all. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead? Come on, Haji. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. No matter what, it's completely weird. Fiend. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Huh? Well, I see even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> There's no ship or no planes. <laughs> there no are planes plenty of ships, show. buddy. <sighs> it's not the it kind is. you need. <sighs> From what I've discovered, there is no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible! There's no way we can swim that far! Show some spirit! What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you that's impossible! Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you! Nah, -uh, You can't do that! That's the biggest of no-nos! Got it? Please recall the guidelines of this school trip! Littering is not allowed! Let us coexist with this island's beautiful nature and mutual prosperity! Bountiful, but sure. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island! What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? The word danger's a bit much! I wouldn't do something like that! Hajime, 
I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now, for now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there is no danger. Yep. As long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? <laughs> There's no choice but to believe, for now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? It's a knife! No! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right! Well, <laughs> of course I didn't forget! Upset, I've prepared one for all of you, so don't worry. Keychain? What is this? <laughs> it's a new Sami strap! Yeah, okay, same thing. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks! I'm a Sami! Magical, Magical miracle, miracle girl is Sami! I'm a itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk! <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> love, love! What a waste of time. Aww. Man, and I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everyone received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. That's littering. Hey, you can't take nature with trash! See, even you think they're trash. <laughs> if somebody sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> and I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm, you have something else? Um, well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big a deal. Basically, I've prepared a motive for everyone! A motive? Hey. That's right! A motive for everyone to get along! We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed! Like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Ding, ding, ding. Correct! Yeah. Is it a festival or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! No, it's a corpse party! Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My lines are still full of poison. I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru. Right. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! That's... Just ignore him, Sonya. I've got it! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be like a barbecue or something. Uh. A campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it. I really hope she dies. Mm -hmm. You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first... Ta-da! This is what it's all about! This is... A swimming bag? <laughs> Correct! Whoa! Then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Yeah. Yep, I thought it would be you. <laughs> eh? That's right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm going to pass on swimming. Thought so? I agree. Even my loins agree. See? Alright! Your tender loins? I understand! Wait! Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! 
How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? Alright, let's go change. I like how almost everybody besides Haji is like, alright, let's do it. Maybe Haji, you're paranoid. Having a hard cut to be Akia and the others who haven't agreed. I mean, only a few. Those of us who... I mean, one of your waifus. Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuit from Asami. Which and one? straight to the hotel to what? change. Which one? Swordmaster. Hey. Oh. Well. What are you gonna do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along, too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on the island. There is no Warren Boston to say. There's nothing tragic. <laughs> waiting to happen there is on no the death in Danganronpa. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. Paco actually did okay. go. So I am surprised you didn't go. I mean, there may be a reason for that. <laughs> so it looks like she's staying too. That's unexpected. She seems more the active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? Huh? Of course I am. Why? <laughs> Is she just gonna go nude? <laughs> <sighs> then why do you go to, uh, with the others to change? So I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take my clothes off. Uh, no, what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. So let's hurry up and swim! With those words, I kind of quickly began taking off her- oh, Whoa, hey! <laughs> hey there! Shameful behavior like that is a no-no! If you're going to swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit! So annoying. Oh, what a pain. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, a guy was totally gonna swim, she was just gonna get buck-ass to do it. Oh, god. Don't talk to me. Swimming blows, but talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Man, he's so blunt. I mean, I didn't doubt you, to be honest. You're not gonna swim? Sleepy. I'm like really, really sleepy right now. I see. It'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like definitely drown. But to be sleeping in a situation like this, she sure, sure got some bold nerves. <laughs> ah! Speaking of which, everyone has returned! What? Oh. Okay, I was planning on talking to everyone, but yeah, Sami said that I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Where? You need to be. Yay! The sea! Look at my girl. Okay. Look at them cakes. Mwah, magnifique. So, I can see. I, I can definitely see the ninja. Yeah. Um. Wait. Wait. What? Who's that in the background? What do you mean? Bottom right background. That that swordswoman. That's Petko. It's weird. It looks really, really weird. Don't she has why. her hair in a ponytail, I think. Don't know why, but I'm unhappy with it. Um, it's a cute picture. Uh, the water is so cool. It feels great. Oh, uh, too salty. This water's too salty. It's not going easy on me. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? <clears throat> I hate him. I love him. I hate him and his stupid voice. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. I <laughs> terror, terror. By icon. By icon. I mean, at least. At least he isn't just the stereotypical Perfect, pervert yeah. who just- He'll fuck yeah. anybody. Good for him. That's a little bit more points on him, but still, fuck this him. This is one of my favorite moments. I think it's so fucking I'll funny. I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What 
is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Feels like resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... <laughs> yup, yup, I'm very happy! Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy! I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates! Ding, ding, ding. Let's keep up the pace and I'll do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip! What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Hachime, did something happen? I'm gonna kill everyone in this room. Hey, hand me one of those school swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Oh, Hajime wants to have fun? Not allowed. Nothing bad ever happened to Doug and Rumpa. What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Hey, what's going on? What do you do? This is obviously not right. It was just sunny a few minutes ago. What? What? Hey. What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way something like this should be happening right now. And at that exact moment, <sighs> just when it seemed like this couldn't get any more confusing, it suddenly happened. Uh, yep, yeah, it's him. Uh, uh, everything, you check, stupid little fucking bear. Fucking That's thing. not how you spell Mike. <laughs> I think he's purposefully doing it wrong. Because he's uh, a little shit. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Unfortunately. That voice isn't right. Yeah, it is. That voice sounds like a way back and so gleeful it seemed out of place. But it was different than Asami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging through the laid-back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction! You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! This voice! If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something! I won't let you. It's all up to me! Hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Hmm. It's best if we go too. Jabberock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Wait! But what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. And he's gone. I just heard it. Yeah. His boom, running boom, is. Boom, boom. <laughs> what happened? He's a chunky boy now. Shit, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Aww. Boo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. Bye. Fine, I'll just step on them later. Your crabs better run while you still can. This, guy's, this girl's a fucking psycho. The crystal clear sea changed color. It looks like it's, it'll swallow me whole if I stare at it for too long. Does it look that like that because of the Mount Malicious voice we just heard? Blech. English. Well, at least they put me right next to the bridge. Oh. Okay. Teleportation. <laughs> Never mind. 
As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, we saw me's shining voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? What's in the I box? Agree. Sorry. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Eh? Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Fucking hate this stupid. I didn't bitch. know that I would be actually doing his voice this time, so this is entertaining. Ruins everything. I know, right? Tell me about it. Fucking hate it. Yeah, much better now that it's not so distorted. Long time no see, guys! I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! The last time we saw you in series, you were dead, but like, lifted your head up and be like, I'm the headmaster! Then, when I played through the little post-alternate story reality thing, you got your shit kicked in by Usami. So I don't see why that can't just happen right now. Also, I have missed this music, to be honest. <laughs> no, I haven't. I hate this fucking little asshole. Ahem! <laughs> now that I've made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame. This is so freaking lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! Oh, wait, lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey! Just as I thought it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Ah, shut up! Hey! I'm livid, you know? And I'm about ready to bar things to your lukewarm attitude. Just with this heart throbbing school, tr school trip crap anyway. I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey. This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? You've gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. You. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What is going on? What is this thing? Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokum is here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Opening. Also, that was definitely her underwear falling off. Stop. I thought it was just an onigiri that keeps flying out. I wish to eat it. Victory! Ah, he won this time. Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <gasps> Stop! I feel like this is, like, not appropriate, because I just see underwear flying off and then him saying he's gonna stick her stick in her? No! His stick? Whatever. That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! Stop. Don't touch me there. That makes my no-no square. All done! Thanks, I hate it. My, my, defining, defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Monomi a little troublemaker? Big brother? Monomi? My little sister! Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> Though it's only an extended s external setting, after all. Wh why do I have to be your little sister? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that gets separated- that got separated at birth? I don't like hmm. this. 
That doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more of a little sister. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be, Mona Me. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. No! Even the display changed to Mona Me! <laughs> hey, I won't let you make up your own settings! Stupid fool! Do you think you can win against me? I mean, she has before. No! How about that? Now you've learned your lesson! What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. If only I still had my magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. You had it, and then you, he still beat you, so stop whining. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who, who friggin' knows? But it's obvious something bad is happening. You think any of us might have gotten involved in all this? Huh? What? What's this? What's going on? <laughs> now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it. Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal, I'm Monokuma! The headmaster of Hope Speak Academy! This is... Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. Yeah. From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> the school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all, and it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey. You guys agree with me, right? Thank no, you fuck waiting. you. So. Let's begin our killing school trip! Do your best! Naturally, you guys are the contestants. Kidding, right? Killing contestants? I won't forgive you! Well, what are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events! Such a dumb child. Huh, okay. Your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time, except in manga. A little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Allow me to explain! Now then, we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, killing school trip? Isn't it obvious? You guys are gonna kill each other! Well... Kill each other, I see. Are you kill kill me? each other! No way, no way, no way! What are you saying? That's impossible! No! Oh well, don't you think it's kinda lame and boring that you can't leave this island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> Class trial? That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between Black and Killer in the uh, other spot with students. During the trial, you'll, begin you'll present your argument about who you think the Blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means if you kill someone to make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave the island. However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you'll be punished. <laughs> It's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep 
using the, repeating the word punished over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spying, tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be referenced to, but it just reminds me of Little Mermaid. Method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. Shoot to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Sing. Please choose whichever killing. I mean, if you cursing prefer. would kill people, all of us would be dead because of Hiko already. Yeah. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic. That's what the killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Don't fuck with me. That's right, who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill anyone. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we never get to leave the island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for y'all to go through the school killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait, just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Eh? Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! What, a fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force, if necessary. You literally told me earlier that you could easily kill me with a, either a misplaced or well-placed strike. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are going to lose their patience. <laughs> the athletes. Fine, fine. Is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. Yeah. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. By force? Well, what are you going to do? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Forth, mana beasts! This seems very unlikely. <laughs> I've seen lots of strange and surprising things ever since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. What? What Why this? did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue! They're mono beasts! Ah! Monster! Hey! Now I just said they're mono beasts! The strange thing about the genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice will let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games, and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear, all I could do was stand aghast. No, this can't be! This is just too weird! Don't tell me! Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says? He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch! I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of hate her because all she has to do is insult people, even in dire situations where things aren't good for her. She's like, ah, you're an idiot. And just like, you're. What? Fuck you. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid, ignorant cavemen are better than you all. 
Classifying events according to their genre is a disease in the modern age. Everyone, everyone please stay back! I... I will protect everyone! I can't Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone! <laughs> huh? What's this? <laughs> I know, this is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! Against the side, you'll be my first example for it to everyone. Hi, uh, bye, Monami. Monami's her slave name. Call her Usami. I'm hoping that we get Usami back someday, but like, Monami is uh, corpse. Uh, he could have died. That thing was like an inch away through piercing my skull. Huh? What? <laughs> what is that? It's only the first stage, and Monami's already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? Monty beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster, we were just vastly out of our elements. We had never experienced anything like this before and had no idea how to deal with it. Um, I've noticed a serious lack of talking from Nagito and Byakuya. Byakuya would have responded right at the beginning, I think Nagito did as well. It's not said anything since, and I'm like, what are you two feeling? Because, like, you know, that reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <laughs> That's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, giving an example, was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well, now. Now well, then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. What if I got high on life? Also, in addition to the Killing School Trip, how far you updated the handbook? There, the rules for the Killing School Trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules, no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. That's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mono beasts or whatever they're, they're called are machines. That's Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer hey, who is it? Who? could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's just stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. 
I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of each other. Ourselves. Uh, Being brought same. to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what you just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's also a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no different, so can I truly be confident that someone like that isn't something like that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything, even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. There's so there's sixteen of us, right? Yeah. That means we should all stay in groups of three to five, typically. No one should go off on their own, because that's dangerous. Just saying. Except for that little one. She can go drown for all Ooh. I care. As a reminder, there are three little ones. Only one of them's a she. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun. In this tropical island was the stage. Here's the real intro, by the way. The real opening as Monokuma. <laughs> I think you've seen everything else. I think everything else is the same. But the theme is boss. Hell yeah. Kyoko Sound. Yeah, there's- so I'm not a huge fan of Terra Terra just because the whole pervert shtick has gotten old over time. Mm -hmm. But, like, really, I only flat out dislike one character. Hiyoko. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Everyone you don't dislike Fihiko? I fucking hated Fihiko the first time I played. Wait, which one's Fihiko? Little boy. Him. No, no. I, I literally said, looking at him during their initial thing, I was like that I hate that little bastard. Yeah. N nah, I don't have an issue with him. Tries to act tough. I, I get it. It's fine. Doesn't want to admit weakness. Welcome to Dongan Island. Panic of the heart throbbing school trip. And Surviving students, 16. So who do you think's going to be... teachers, <laughs> zero. Who do you think's going to be the first one to uh, die? Now that it's a killing school trip. I'm gonna really hope it's... Oh. Also, I just realized we got to keep this. I could totally just give this to tech guy and he might be able to do something with it. Maybe. I mean, it's a magic Hopefully. stick, so... No. I mean, it, it, it's definitely a technological thing. It's not magic. Sure. It's the faux show broken wand. Um... It's because it's broken for show. Uh, so, guys, first off, I really hope that Big Guy McTrainy Pants isn't going to be the first one to die because Big Guy McTrainy Pants. Yes. Who? The the coach. Oh, Nakamura. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not very good with names. I haven't learned them. All no, yet. I didn't know if you were talking about him or Biakia because I was like Big Guy. Training. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Oh, that's funny. Um, Hence my confusion. 
I'm hoping that Big Guy McTraining Pants won't be the first one to go, because I'm enjoying him thus far, and I'm just kind of, like, flashing back to the first game, where Sakura was supposed to be the first one to die, and I'm like, uh, don't do that to me, don't do, don't do him dirty. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, that's just what I'm hoping. It's not him. Hopefully it's the little brat. Goddamn. It's not going to be, though. They need controversial people. Goddamn. Yeah. <sighs> Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. We'll get or items and shit. Despair? Goodbye Despair. And definitely Hello Despair. Despair just just showed up, popped up like, Sup, bitches? And you were just like, no, don't, no not, not this again. Come on, don't do, don't do, do don't do them. Don't do, don't do that. Yeah, no, no. No Despair, not here. No.